and David Todd were the founders. David was the one that gave Freeport its name because from that point on, he wanted this area to have a free port so river rafts could stop here and not have to worry about uh, uh, docking fees. My business was where we're sitting right now, the men's clothing business, and it was started by my great-great-grandfather back before the Civil War. Wasn't your store the oldest family-owned store in the United States at one clothing time? Store. Men's clothing yeah. store. Yeah. Pennsylvania Canal made this town, and there are still some houses from that time period. It came the whole way from Philadelphia, the canal, to Pittsburgh, and fortunately it went through Freeport, and this brought a lot of popularity at that time. The Pennsylvania Western uh, Railroad ended up buying the Pennsylvania Canal, and that surface became the rail line for the uh, Pennsylvania uh, Railroad. Boy, you can't beat the old whiskey, you know? Freeport's been famous for that for years. Of course, there's the Guggenheimer Distillery, and they were the largest distillery of rye whiskey in the world. My name is Jim Swartz. I am the mayor of Freeport Borough. Uh, it was back in 1964 when they put the community park in, put the swimming pool in, the basketball courts, the firemen would always freeze it throughout the winter and that's where we did our ice skating. They had a little train that ran around the park, uh, about a two mile route that went the whole way around, had a tunnel you went through. Uh, sadly, it's closed now. I mean, needs a complete overhaul. Well, we sure know what Freeport used to be like. Yes, and it should be and could be like that again, John. The scuba shop has been a staple here for, we've been here for over 30 years. It's been a huge success because we're close to everywhere. Folks like to come here as a, you know, a small day trip to come down into shop and to see the town and to come down and learn to scuba. The building definitely has history, but it definitely needs updates as well. Um, you know, shortly after we bought it, we, we actually had to put a roof on it. You Despite know, we, our love of water, I didn't want it on my floors. Right. It didn't help me mop faster at night having water coming in. It's been a list of challenges. The roof was a big one and there's a lot of things here that we want to preserve the history but definitely update. I would love to see Fifth Street revitalized and bring back some of the um, old uh, traditions that we had there, of course with a new twist. I would actually like to see Camarillo's Market renovated. And I remember going in with my parents and that old wooden floor and taking your grocery cart up and down every aisle. I am here today in my dad and granddad's old grocery store. So this building was originally built in 1915 completion for the Odd Fellows. When we were young kids, uh, this is a very, very large building. We kids would come down here and we would play hide and seek. and so a large building we had to kind of set boundaries because you could be hiding forever. There's, there's a lot of old buildings, they're beautiful historical buildings with all the architectural detail that need to be restored. The building I love in Freeport is the Shoot Building. The Shoot Building. The Shoot Building. The Shoot Building. The old Shoot Building. It makes me think of like like some sort of like Harry Potter fantasy store in like Diagon Alley. The roots run so deep here. You know, it's, it's a place that families stay. We have so many new families coming to the area. It's a place of potential. It's a place of growth. By the way, have you guys met Chaz? Have you met Chaz? Have you met Chaz? Hi, my, my name is Chaz, and I've been in Freeport my whole life, and one big building I would like to see redone is free Freeport Foods, and I would like to see like if it would be turned into a coffee shop or a d -d donut shop or something like that. Some of us have been here our whole lives. Some of us have left and come back. Some of us are new. We're first responders. Moms. Students. Teachers. We're, We're small, small business, business owners. owners. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, we are an exciting, vibrant, multi-generational community and we just need a little boost from you. Thank you for considering us for HGTV. Come down, take over.